In this video, you guys will know how you guys can create a bullet. So let's get started. So first, what you need to do is create a scene. We'll be na we'll be creating another node called kinematic <laughs> kinematic body 2D, and then we'll add a collision. Then we'll add a sprite, and we'll name this bullet. And collision shape, we'll be creating a shape. It's just basic stuff in, if you look at my channel. And we have a, where is it, a bullet PNG. You can download it from the link in the description. Save this to a bullet scene. Next, we will click on this thing and then hold shift and make it a little smaller because bullet is not that big. I, I, I clicked on W to change the position. And we are done basically for now. We'll be creating the bullet, okay? So first we need the bullet. So we'll write uh, var bullet equals to preload uh, bullet dot tscn. Uh, where is this bullet dot tscn? There you go. And we are done with the bullet itself. We will go down and uh, we'll say over here on the physics process will say if input is action just pressed ui underscore accept you can use anything if you want for now i'm going to be using ui underscore ups, uh, accept there you go we'll write create bullet and the create bullet is a function of course so we'll go over here we'll go over here and write create bullet pass now let's go and use this thing to create the bullet instance so we'll write we'll write var bullet instance instance equals to uh, bullet dot instance there you go so we are done uh, we are now <clears throat> We now have a bullet instance. Now we can change the position of that instance. Uh, so to do that, bullet instance dot position equals to position. Now we need a we need an offset. So our position is the player's position. So in the world, when I hit the enter key, the bullet will be spawned over here. So I want a little bit like this. So I wanted it to be spawned over here. So let's add offset. So to do that, we'll go up and we'll create a var bullet or say, yeah, bullet offset. And we will write, we have to write, of course, the export as a vector to var bullet offset. And we'll add this to this position. Say plus bullet offset. All right. Next, what you need to do is write git parent because we, we want to add that the, the bullet to the world, not the player. So we'll write add child bullet instance. Let's add this. So we are make sure to use the is action just pressed. That, that's what I'm going to say. And yeah, now let's test this thing out. So we'll go over here. We'll hit this. We'll hit it. There we go. It's not going down because our our pl our player our ship is going this uh, for going forward. So that's why it's going down. Now we need to add some speed to the bullet, and it's a really really easy thing to do. We'll create a new uh, bullet.gd. So let's create a new script bullet.gd create. And basically, what I'm going to do is write export var uh, sorry export float var speed. So let's write bullet speed and we need to create a motion vector so our motion equals to a vector all right so we have a motion vector now what you need to do is remove all of that just see, we're going to use the process and to do that we'll just write motion.x because i want to move into the x-axis then we'll say plus equals to because I want to move to the right and I will write uh, bullet speed times delta to make it smoother so if it's at like a 30 frames per second it will uh, change accordingly okay basically it and then we'll write motion equals to move and now we need to move this so motion 
it should do the trick. Now go back to the bullet, and over here we'll write, let's say 900. And on the world, we'll click on the player. We'll go to the bullet offset, and let's write like uh, 40 on the x-axis, of course. And now, display. All right, look. It's going amazing. It's amazing. We'll make it a little bit more smaller. Shift and like this. It should do the trick. It's, it's not like visible right now. Oh my god. Okay. Run this. And we'll write, okay. As you can see, it's a little over here. We need to change the offset. So let's go for a, like a solid 70, not 710, 70. And run. And if I hit the EL, right? So it adds a little bit slower to the body. Of course, that, that's not a really, really big problem. Uh, we'll, we'll add more, like 150 or something. Boom. Boom. Yeah, boom, boom, boom. So, yeah, this is basically it. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll be seeing you in the next video. Peace.